into the cloud. Okay, so we're recording on this end. Hop on over to Facebook. And we should be live. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hi, Steve. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? <laughs> it's going pretty well. What is today? Thursday, 11 o'clock. September the 1st. It's September, September the 1st. What happened? Yeah, I know. Isn't that something? Yeah. It wow. really feels like falls here now. Um, <laughs> so there's a couple of indications. Um, one of them, the Starbucks line is like super long now, and I have to do some maneuvering around it because pumpkin spice lattes, obviously. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yes. Yes. So is that one of your? Is that no. one of your weaknesses? No. No, it's not. And I'm thinking about taking on another weakness. <laughs> okay. But um, no, I like the smell of pumpkin spice, but I'm not one that to go wait in a Starbucks line. Yeah. I mean, I would like to try to make it myself, maybe, I think. Yeah. yeah. A <laughs> little too sweet for me, young lady. A little too sweet. <laughs> yeah. And the other change is, I don't know if you've noticed this, Steve, but the moon and the lighting. So the yeah, environment is becoming a little bit more yin. Yeah, it's right? a little prettier. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no here in Florida, it's still blazing hot. I mean, actually, in most of the U.S., it's blazing hot right now. That's right. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I do and feel that, um, that shift. In, everybody's uh, waiting for fall. There's no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I love okay. it. Um, so anyway, so we're here today, um, unfortunately, without our dear friend, Rhonda. Um, Rhonda Foster, one of our graduates and alumni of the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui, was going to join us today, but she has... Um, an appointment that she had to make and we'll have her back some other time. So Steve and I were just reflecting on what can we do to show up to you all um, honest and ask a feng shui professional. And we're really, really excited about our class coming up October 1st um, for several reasons. And one is that we can't wait to meet the new class, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Because we form such special bonds with each training session and then um, I think it's fun for us too because we love constantly stoking that wisdom and knowledge energy all the time so we're learning yeah. as we're teaching that's right and it's really quite a special experience and this time we're offering the day one in person again which is I mean I'm really really excited about that there's something a little bit different about having some in person um meetings with students and the energy is just a little bit different yeah it really is it really is you know I, we uh we certainly have listened to a lot of you about the possibility of just coming for the one day and that is fine where we are offering the idea of you just coming for the one day and making up your mind whether or not you'd like to continue with the two of us and uh, i think you will i think you'll find out that we're really passionate about feng shui and that we over deliver for what we're doing but we're also offering a um, bring your pal day too you know so if you have a friend and you'd like to come you know we also have a slightly different pricing for the two of you, yes so. i love that i'm so glad you came up with that because i love taking classes with my besties um, yeah. it, you know it adds a little bit to the experience and i think it also helps to break down any um, confidence barriers that we have. Yeah. Um, when you have a friend with you, you can talk about it every day. Um, so I think, thank you for, for that idea. I think that's super cool. And um, and we've had quite a bit of, um, we've had a few instances where oh, yeah. people have joined us as friends and yeah, um, they, they do have. get a unique, a unique value. Mm -hmm. You know, one, one of the things that I, I found out that a lot of people are really looking forward to is the idea about bringing their floor plan yeah. And having you and I help them a great deal find out yes. where things should go and how to actually uh, transform certain things. And then the other thing that is uh, a lot of people really find out really very powerful is to find their four favorite or best mm -hmm. directions. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, so, uh, you know, that is, that is something that you would probably really love to find out. Yeah, that's and, fun. Uh, it's always a good yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. Yeah. And then just to see who else in the class has your same best directions. <laughs> and then yeah. everyone can fight over where they're sitting. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we've had a lot of slugfests. 
<laughs> I like it. I love I love that idea. I think it's going to make for a really fun day. And I think it really underscores the value that we hear back from our students is that they start thinking in a new way starting day one. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people say it's like coming to Hogwarts. <laughs> like that first day is so exciting and you you were looking at the world through a new lens. So yeah, we're helping are. people with how can you tell this element of nature and how can you recognize it within an environment? And then you start seeing all these interrelations. It's really, I love to watch everybody go around and start that discovery because yeah. you, can't turn it, you can't turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite activities when we, when we do a live is that everybody can stand up after we've gone through a couple of the modules so they can go out into the lobby and take a good look and see what's going right and what's going wrong out there and then come back and report to us. So it's sort of enjoyable to see, like you said, their eyes are, are opening up to the idea of how to get balance and harmony in an environment. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. And I think it's a really <laughs> great lesson in um, honing intuition, um, recognition mm -hmm. of you know, your own intuition. Everybody has it, you know, Steve, we're not um, superhuman. We don't have skills that other people don't have already. But when you do these in-person exercises, it starts to reinforce the confidence that my mm -hmm. intuition is accurate. I knew that was a bad placement of such and such, or I knew that felt wrong. And then people are feeling that day one, wait a yeah. minute, this is already something I kind of know within me, but now I can hone that skill. Yeah, yeah, it, it's supported backed up and they they quite they, they're quite amazed that they 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 could understand that was something was just not right here and i didn't yeah. know how to tell my mother-in-law <laughs> <laughs> yeah not to offend anyone but there's a lot of feng shui that needs to be done <laughs> um mm -hmm. yeah no it's like it's like our students from day one start to get a sense of how they can use feng shui in a very practical way to help a hotel for example have a more welcoming um, environment where people are attracted in. Um, it photographs better, it feels better. Um, it's a place people wanna spend more time in, spend more money in. So yeah, there's that, there's that, you know, the energetic part of it, but there's also just that very practical, with this knowledge, I can really help somebody. Oh boy, it's true. You know, it's not just, it's not just your house. No. You know, it's your, it's your office. It's uh, somebody's, uh, uh, mom and pop store or whatever, you know, there's, there's so many ways that you can help somebody to actually succeed a lot more and be more productive. That's mm -hmm. exciting. You can walk and in just there and happier, help. happier, yeah. more inspired, um, to do more. And I think a lot of people, once they understand feng shui can be integrated into anybody's lifestyle, but it can also enhance any existing business. Virtually any business can include a service that's using feng shui either outwardly or, or um, behind the scenes to help enhance that business. That's right. I mean, I've done things like real estate offices and mm -hmm. and I, I remember even doing a photography um, store. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you get into some places that, it, you know, it's sort of very interesting that you get to know these people and you get to know what they do for a living. So it's, it's a joy. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I like that you speak to about that personal level of feng shui. Um, it's a very, it's not surface level, it's not surface level decorating, it's not surface level interior design. Um, it's not surface level at all. It's very interpersonal, it comes from a place of helping and really getting to know an environment and a person. Um, and I mean, it's, it's a way to stand apart from the crowd in any um, you know, any business that you can come up with, um, I yeah. think. It's all about attraction, you know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you do for a living, you're always trying to attract attention and attract success into your life. And I don't care what you do, you know, you need to attract attention. And that's one of the things about feng shui that really always turned me on. I mean, I got started with real estate. And certainly I wanted to attract people to my listings, but, um, it, it does it for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm so excited. Um, you know, like I said, I was really looking forward to chatting with Rhonda and yeah, I, I'm looking forward 
to bringing more um, and shining more of a light on our graduates um, and our students in a bigger way so people can ask yeah. questions of them too. Um, yeah. And also we're really big supporters in our graduates' businesses. Um, we want to make sure they succeed. Um, they don't feel alone. And by bringing them into this experience, Ask a Feng Shui Professional, it will give them the opportunity to share their business, um, right. their success, the story that they had um, coming through our training. Um, some of them are just really amazing. It and makes me are. so happy to hear and get those, those letters and those updates from people telling me how much their life has transformed for the, for the better. Um, and it's, it's really just, you know, whether they were taking the course with us to be a certified professional for their business or whether they just wanted to improve their home environment to help their kids, mm -hmm. um, and their family feel better. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. it's very touching. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you save like, do you also like me? I know it's not probably very, um, feng shui to do this, but I save a lot of those handwritten letters. <laughs> Do you? And like put them on my fridge, you know, and, and explain the story to um, my kids. You know, there's several times as a feng shui professional, Steve and I will get, um, you know, in a surprise thank you letter in the mail and um, it'll come in nine envelopes <laughs> and in, included in the envelopes is a little gift or a token or, um, you know, a dollar. And that's a very traditional exchange in feng shui to, um, to show appreciation um, and to exchange energy for services. And, but it's just a nice, like very touching um, when you receive mm -hmm. that, it's a blessing. Yeah. And um, it really brightens the day. So I love, I love to share that and show that to my kids too. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you do. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a great, great thing to bring up. Uh, I do remember a few weeks ago when that happened yes. for both of us and uh, yeah, you know, it was so nice. sort of a surprise and very, very, a very pleasant surprise. But no, our, our, our students are, are quite amazing and mm -hmm. they're doing really well and we're really pleased about it. So, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to bring them out here. We can do panels eventually. Um, people who have questions for them they each have their own specialty and their gift and we like to help shine a light on that in our program we're not trying to make everyone carbon copies of us as feng shui prof professionals we're looking at what brings each person joy mm -hmm. what is their current skill set where do they come from and then how can they bring in feng shui to support them into um you know finding something that feels less like work and more like um, investigation or play. Yeah. You know, I was, I was talking to somebody a few days ago and one of the things that I would sort of like to bring up that a, a lot of folks are still a little hesitant sometimes mm -hmm. about to get out there and talk to people a little bit. Yeah. You know, the, the great thing about this particular profession is you can actually do a lot of it, if not all of it online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So some, some of us, you know, do an awful lot of evaluations just over the computer and mm -hmm. uh, you know so if you're hesitant about that I, I can understand that even though i think things are getting a lot better but you know you can do things online and really never leave your couch if you don't want to <laughs> <laughs> we want people to leave their couch but <laughs> yes, yeah yeah, yeah. Please, but it's true please. um you know it's the it's the new wave of doing business um everyone's taking things virtually there's more than just going to houses for consults and driving yourself all over, or flying yourself all over, um, getting to different places. You can help people with feng shui um, through virtual means. And we teach that in our program. And we talk a lot about that because we are both um, Red Ribbon level members of the International Feng Shui Guild. We have international meetings on a pretty regular basis. And that really, um, you know, it really broadens the scope of your experience when you're in a profession that allows you that ability to, to talk to somebody in Australia and help them. Um, mm -hmm. You meet people from different cultures. It's, you know, really nourishing as a profession to be able to have those connections. Yeah, we, we both have clients all over the place. And I, 
you know, I, I, I enjoy talking to somebody. I mean, I, I this one client in Italy and, um, you know, we have clients uh, in the UK and Canada and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's interesting to see, you know, what their lives are like, and how they're using yeah, the different, different environments and different yeah. nature too. I like to see that. Um, and I'm going to check mm -hmm. Facebook too, because my, my, I can't see comments coming in. Um, but so if my volume pops off, that's what it is. Um, but it's really neat to virtually step inside of someone else's house on the other side of the world and see a different mm -hmm. landscape and then have that ability to incorporate that environment into their living space. Mm -hmm. It's, it's fun. You know, it's mm -hmm. not doing the same thing every day, day in and day out. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's a really unique um, place to be. And I think it's in more demand than ever before. Don't you feel? Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. I, you know, that's a, a great thing is that the whole world is really potentially a client for somebody. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. You know, in, in some cases you, you might need to speak the language, but you know, there's just <laughs> yeah. so many ways of, of, of using this. So the whole world has an awful yeah. lot of interest in feng shui. And so, yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's a cool. very highly Googled term. Um, feng shui, and I think that's how a lot of people find us too. Um, oh, there we are. We are live. I don't see any comments. Um, yes, yeah, working. But um, yeah, I think that's how a lot of people find us is through Google. Um, you know, that's a you know very thought out term. Feng shui, um, harmony. People are looking for harmony, um, and they desire nature. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Well, Steve, I'm. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited also to go to Fort Myers. I think that'll be fun. Oh, me too. I, I didn't quite hear what you said there, but yeah, oh. Fort Myers. Okay, right. Fort I am. Myers. I am too. And uh, you know, we're we're looking forward to that a great deal. And hopefully, some of you decide to join us. And again, you know, get in touch with us. Let's see what's possible. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I think that that's um, you know. Yeah, just give us, drop us a comment below. Um, let us know how to get in touch with you. We can set up a time where you can Zoom with us just like this. Um, and you can have a chance to share with us where you are in your journey. And maybe if this is the right place for you to be. And we're very honest. We're going to tell you, you know, yes, you'll be a great fit for this program. We would love to have you or we would love to have you come experience for the day. Bring a friend. But if there's something that you desire and we know that we can help you get you know, elsewhere, um, we're going to be honest and help you and support you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 We're there for you. I mean, it's sort of uh, one of our catch terms, you know, we're <laughs> yeah. always there. We're always Whether they there like it or you. not, right? <laughs> Bad penny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's Steve again. <laughs> but um, no, this is great. Thank you so much for chatting with me again. Um, it was fun, um, you know, Everybody out there, I know we kind of pop mm -hmm. on randomly sometimes, but if you want to catch us in these live sessions so you can ask us questions, every Thursday, 11 a.m., Steve and I, and sometimes we'll bring someone along with us, are going to show up um, and be here for you to give you information. You can ask us questions. Um, it's your chance to get free advice. Um, you know, that'll yeah. happen. So, oh, yeah. um so that could be fun and we hope to see you next week um 11 a.m eastern time and um anything else that we should no i think we've covered it all and yeah, it again we're both looking forward to it yeah yeah let's let's all have a great week and we'll see you next thursday make sure you show up yeah <laughs> yes and, we, and if there's questions that you have um you can drop them in the comments and we'll answer them next time and these are always recorded they go out on um, facebook and we'll save it here to this page. So um, thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye now.